Now look here. The diagonals are equal and they bisect. You have to show that it is a square. How you will show that ABCD is a square? Square means a square is a type of a parallelogram with all sides equal and all angles right angles. Triangle 
Javed, go to that seat for this thing. Hariya, Hariya. Forty five, fifteen, sixteen, twenty eight, forty four, forty one, thirteen. Question number six. Then this. Question number six is diagonal AC of parallelogram ABCD bisect angle A. Show that is also bisect angle C. A rhombus is given. No, a parallelogram is given. You have to show that it is a rhombus. You can even start with rhombus. A, B, C, D. This diagonal A, C is already by checking this angle A that is given by this. So, means angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and it is by checking angle A. And we need to show that 
this AC bicep tendon C means this is making C and forehead equal. This you want to show. Given what you are writing the given AC bicep tendon A. Got it? And what you have to prove is you have to show that AC bicep angle C and the more thing ABC is the this you want to show. Got it? Two. Now, this question can be proved without problem. Yes, look here. And this is a parallelogram. So, can we say that two and three are equal by alternate? One and four are equal by alternate? And one is already equal to two. Why? Because AC by the rectangle A has K. So, one equal to two, one equal to four, two equal to three. So, all the angles are equal. So, can we say that angle three is equal to angle four? So, if three is equal to four, so can we say that AC is also by setting angle C? Yes. So, that's it. Okay. One thing is, can we prove by this without congruency? So, let's start with that. And in another part, you will show that ABCD is a rhombus. What do you mean by rhombus? Rhombus is a type of a parallelogram with a distant side equal that you have to show. So that's very easy. Who will tell me? Angle 1 is equal to angle 2 given. Angle 2 is equal to angle 3. Angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Alternate interior angle. So this implies angle 1 is equal to angle 2, and 2 is equal to 3, 1 is equal to 2. All the angles are equal. 1, 2 k equal x, 2, 3 k equal x, 1 is equal x, 4 k. So the carry of the k and we want out of these four angles, what we want? Angle 3 is equal to angle 4. This implies A, C, Y, Z, angle. Any doubt? <coughs> That's you. Okay. In the the first part I do. इतनी आवाज क्यों आ रही I 
कौन है जिससे एक सेकंड भी कंट्रोल नहीं हो रहा कि चुप हो जाए क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन A B C D is a number. Now the converse of this question. Earlier it was given that the line diagonal A C bisect angle A, and it also bisect angle C. So it is a number. Now the converse is here. A B C D is a number. You have to show that diagonal bisect angle A. पहले bisect करना था, rhombus prove किया था. Now it is given as rhombus. You have to show that diagonal bisect angle A and angle C. कैसे करेंगे साइड की तो मैं तो एंगल ट्रिक करूँगी एक ही करके हम साइड की तो लोगी तो तो एंगल ट्रिक करूँगी तो कैसे करेंगे तो हम ठीक है ना यही भी कर रहे क्या किया है एबीसीडी इस डा रोमस एंड व्हाट यू हैव टू शो है AC bisect angle A and angle C. This you have to do. Especially what happened over here. Then you have to show Romer given that. You have to show that the diagonal AC is the angle of the bisect. You have to show that 1, 2 is equal to 3, 4 is equal to 3. आपने शो करना है वन टू के इक्वल है थ्री फोर के इक्वल ये शो करना है गिवन है रोमस रोमस में एडजेसेंट साइड इक्वल होती है तो थ्री इसी है कॉन्ग्रेंस देखो जब पैलोग्राम है रोमस इसे साइड को में पैलोग्राम ऑपोजिट साइड इक्वल डायगनल एसी कॉमन ट्रिपल एसी ट्राइंगल्स क्या होते अगर ट्राइंगल्स
और CB equal to CD. तो A के corresponding AB के corresponding AD आ जाएगा, तो two के corresponding one आ जाएगा। अगर आप CB के corresponding CD करोगे, तो three के corresponding four आ जाएगा। तो हो जाए। लेकिन अगर opposite side लेके चलते हैं, तो नहीं होगा। Main motive इसमें question में ये है कि triangle के main के साथ angle match नहीं हो। तो आपने पैरलोग्राम ना लेकर रोमबस की तरह करना है जैसे साइड में कौन से तरीके से लेते हैं क्या भी तरीके से ही है जिसे कर लें ठीक है चलो फिर कर लो करो ये लिखो फिर आगे चलो ठीक है क्या लिखा है Yeah. 
And second thing we have to show that VB bisect angle BAB and ABCD is a sphere. AC bisect angle C and angle C. This is given. Can we say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2? Angle 3 is equal to angle 4. A, B, C, D is a square. Square means? All side. Parallelogram with adjacent side. All side means opposite to any other side adjacent side. Now, see. Rectangle is what is? C. Rectangle is a parallelogram. This rectangle is a parallelogram. So, square is what you have to show. 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 Now, next thing is you have to show that adjacent side is equal. Now, this is the angle given. This is equal. Now, this is parallelogram. So, what can you say? That 1, 4 is equal or 2, 3 is equal. How is it? So, angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Alternate integer. Now, this is compared. I mean, both are equal. I mean, both are equal. If you have already been prepared to equal to 3, but you are not to be equal to 3. 1, 2, 3 equal to 1, 4, 3 equal to 1. So, now we can compare the number of 1, 2, 3 equal to 2, 4, 3 equal to 2. 1, 2, 3 equal to 1, 4, 3 equal to 2. This is the number of 3 equal to 3 equal to 3. 1, 2, 3 equal to 1, 4, 3 equal to 3. This is the number of 3 equal to 3 equal to 3. So, here we have 2 equal to 4. We are in the number of 3 equal to 3. अगर ये इक्वल है तो इसकी ऑपोजिट साइड भी क्या होगी? इक्वल साइड ऑपोजिट टू इक्वल एंगल और इक्वल दिस इंप्लाइज एबी इक्वल टू सी अब पैरलोग्राम विद एडजेसेंट साइड इक्वल ऑपोजिट साइड ऑलरेडी इक्वल है एडजेसेंट साइड इक्वल होगी स्क्वायर बन लेकिन स्क्वायर वाली बना ली क्यों स्क्वायर की को ये तो है क्या पैरलोग्राम विद एडजेसेंट साइड इक्वल से रोमबस अभी रह गया नाइंटी डिग्री अब रह गया नाइंटी तब जाके स्क्वायर होगा अभी तक ये रोमबस बनाएगी हाँ अब वो लिखना है ना 